Round two of the Nationals qualifier here at Crew sees 33 cars preparing for racing in the pits. The Stockport Hit Squad team have installed in-car radio phones so they can chat to each other if they get bored while they're racing. Cars have emerged from the pits on this sunny afternoon to line up for Heat 1. The flag marshal gets the cars away on the rolling lap. And we have the green and we're away in racing. First white top through 234 Adrian Davis. And the yellow top 460 climbing over the bumper. Uh, 37 Chris Dunkley who's spun out. Nice to take Mark Eaton with him. Mark looks to be rejoining at the back of the pack. So red top Trevor Cadman chasing 116 Kevin Clare along the back straight. And Cadman and one or two others tying up. All come through safely. First red top is 48 Key Sherratt. 172 Stevie Hodgson pushing round 409 Rob Moore. Moore goes wide. And leading red top 49 Key Sherratt has been caught by 454 Phil Haig. And Haig goes through on the inside.
2.30 hitting the Armco barrier. In the fence again and he's spun round on home straight. Through goes 3.03. Down the back straight goes Rob Moore, chased by 354 Richard Ainsworth. Phil Haig passing Yellow Top, 460. Eventually gets past 460. And 172 goes through also with Key Sherrett trailing a wheel guard, followed by 234, who is followed by 354. Trevor Cadman tied up with Rob Moore. Richard Ainsworth pushing 2-3-4, Gary Monks down the home straight. Ainsworth doesn't manage to get past this time. So 2-3-4, Gary Monks away down the back straight. The leading red top at this stage is 4-5-4, Phil Hay, followed by 1-7-2, Stevie Hodgson. And up front, 71, Richard Park, in past, as the Red Tops come up behind, 303. But in the lead, it's 241, Adrian Davis. In second, 196, Steve Locke. And 230 has managed to spin out again, takes 234, Gary Monks, and 37, Chris Dunkley along as well. Lead car, 241, Adrian Davis now down the home straight. In second, 196, Steve Locke. So White Top in the lead, chased by Yellow Top. Cadman has a flat inside front tyre. Being chased hard now by White Top, 241. And Phil Haig for the Red Tops comes through, moves up into second place. Steve Locke in third, but up comes 172, Steve Hodson. And Hodson now up to third. And Steve Locke fights back, regains third place. But Hodson overtakes again. And 454, Phil Haig has passed 241. So in the lead now, 454, Phil Haig. Down the home straight. 172 Steve Hodgson followed by 196 and 354 is now up to 4th place. 354 passes Steve Locke. So Richard Ainsworth now in 3rd place chasing after 172. And Phil Higgs clipped the arm call that slowed him enough for 172 to take the lead. And Phil Higgs slowed slightly. But number 23, Trevor Cadman's held back 354, Richard Ainsworth. So Phil Haig holds on to his second place. But away in the lead, 172, Steve Hodgson. Chased by 454, chased by 354. Cadman with the front inside, now smoking. Back in fourth place, number 7, followed by 196, 71, 488, 409. More back markers go through. But in lead place, 172, Steve Hodgson. Again down the home straight. Looking back for second, 454, Phil Haig under pressure from 354, Richard Ainsworth. Both cars on the back straight. Phil Haig managing to make a small gap between himself and Ainsworth. So Phil Haig holding on to second. Ainsworth in third. Ainsworth now closing up on Phil Haig. At a half straight in the lead is 172, Stevie Hodgson. Moving back markers out of the way as he goes along. And 71 has also picked up a flat front inside tyre. Through goes 172. 71 goes into the dead car. Phil Haig holding second place with 454, Richard Ainsworth. In third, Ainsworth comes through on the inside such Richard Ainsworth up into second. Phil Haig now down to third, and away in the lead, 172, Stevie Hodgson comes down the home straight, counter down in first place. 
354 is gaining in second place followed by 454 so Steve Hodgson 172 away down the back straight on his last lap Phil Haig's got in with a bumper and has passed Ainsworth so Phil Haig moves up to second on the last lap 172 through in first 454 in second 354 in third 161 Kevin Clare receives a clout after the chequered flag in fourth number seven Nigel Parker and through for fifth was 409 Rob Moore so the rest of the cars coming through to pick up the final placings and out come the reds And still in the Armco is car 230. 161 car looks to have expired. So heat one winner, Steve Hodgson. Brother Andy will drive the car round. And Father Dave Hodgson down on track as well. From Murfield, Heat 1 winner, 172, Stevie Hodgson. Underway, but E91 Andy Smith pushed off onto the centre green. Obviously, not going to start this race. And the green's been given. Blue tops already moving up into the yellow top ranks. Out goes 71 and 303. Back red top, number seven, Nigel Parker. Paul Lomax, 69, pushing around newly promoted red top, 21, Ash Calverley. And 4.53 spun out. Cars diving around either side. 317, can't get round. Rest of the cars safely through. So 69, Paul Lomax moving up the field. 250 and 409 have broken away from the rest of the Reds now, pushing 464, Ian Sturk out of the way. So 250, Keith Chambers leading Red Top. And 50, Graham Bird passes 293, Elliot Smith. 2.41 now being passed by 50. So Graham Bird now away in the lead at this early stage. Keith Chambers, first red, followed by 4.09 and 2.72. 
409 under pressure from Andy Hodgson. Both cars now down the back straight, passing white tops, back markers as they go. Hodgson has the inside line, pushes Rob Moore wide. So 272 passes 409, Rob Moore. Paul Lomax goes through, number seven, Nigel Parker. And coming round the home straight bend is Graham Bird, number 50. Way in the lead. Bird now flying down the back straight, chasing number 71, Richard Park. So, through goes 50. 2.41 and 2.72, followed by 4.09. Ian Sturk, being passed by 69, Paul Lomax. Sixty nine, Paul Lomax away down the home straight, followed by four six four, followed by number seven, and then twenty one. But number fifty, Rain Bird, down the home straight. And then going a little wide but holds it. Now catching up to back markers. 136, Dave Taylor gets pushed out of the way as 50 goes on down the home straight. Back in second, 272, Andy Hodgson carries the gold stripes down the home straight. Chasing after Graham Bird. And in third, 409, Rob Moore. And looking back to fourth place, it's 69, Paul Lomax. Lomax now away down the back straight, chasing after Rob Moore. It's a fair gap to catch up though. Lead car comes into view, number 50, Graham Bird. Graham away down the back straight, has a good lead over a second place man. Now being held up by back markers. Passes 464 Ian Stirk. And that's the gap to second, back to Andy Hodgson. And looking for third is 409, Rob Moore. So uh, quite a long gap between the first three. And the cross track now, number 50, Graham Bird. Approaching the chequered flag. Takes the chequered winner of heat two, second, 272. And looking back for third place man is 409 Rob Moore, followed by 69 Paul Lomax. And through in fifth place, number seven, Nigel Parker. The rest of the cars coming through now to pick up the lower places. First win of the season for number 50, Graham Bird from Burton-on-Trent. Graham has a new car and a new sponsor for the 1990 season. And uh, the 
Number 50 car fails to go, so Paul Lomax steps in. Taking round number 50, heat two winner, Graham Bird. Three is Howard Benson in the John Lund lookalike car. Cars away for the Heat 3 rolling lap. And the green is given. First car through is 4.53. And the rest comes streaming through. And 1.96 has been pushed out. Now at the back of the blues. 2.50 Keith Chambers being pushed round by 23 Trevor Cadman. In goes 4.54 with the bumper and 4.88 Andy Turner goes over Phil Haig Recovers though as 49 Key Sherrick goes through 2.72, 1.80 and 3.54 Tangle together, 3.54 gets going Four eight eight moves up one place, passes 49 Keith Sherratt and 116 Kevin Clare clips the Amco barrier, knocks out his wheel guard. One nine six Steve Lock being passed by 49 Keith Sherratt. Through comes 454 Phil Hay. 391. 3-5-4 which range of moving up so Andy Smith now passing 69 for Lomax uh, Lomax has inside line so Lomax goes through followed by 3-5-4 and in first place again is number 50 Graham Bird looking back for second it's 2-50 Keith Chambers Followed by 23 Trevor Cabin, 464 Ian Sturt. Bill Haig being chased by 49. Keith Sherratt. Both cars passing 453. Howard Benson. Sixty-nine Paul Lomax passing two three four Gary Monks with Andy Smith supplying the bumper. And Gary Monks has a go at Smith, but Smith gets away. 
down the back straight chasing after 69. And through comes number 50 in first place, Rainbird. In second is 250, Keith Chambers. 180 and 272 are both a lap down from tangling earlier on. As is 21 Ash Calvary, so 250, Keith Chambers in second. And 250 up in the air. He covers OK. And gets away down the back straight. Through goes 50 in first place. 250 in second. Being pressured by lap down 272, Andy Hodgson. Fifty Graham Bird down the home straight. Two fifty Keith Chambers in second. Looking back down track, it's number 23, Trevor Cadman, who's in third place. And as 150 pulls off, through goes 354, 454, 391, 69. But in first place on his last lap is 50, Graham Bird. In goes the 250 bumper. And Chambers has the inside line. But 50, Graham Bird holds on. So on the last lap, 50. But in goes the bumper of 250. Both cars spin out, hit the Amco. Graham Bird's got going again. 272 is a lap down, so we're looking for the lead car. And it's 50, Graham Bird comes through to win. Heat 3, second, 250. Third is 23, Trevor Cadman. And looking for fourth, 354, Richard Ainsworth. So 250, almost losing out on the final lap. Out come the Reds, bringing Heat 3 to a close. So, Heat 2 winner and Heat 3 winner, number 50. Graham Bird from Burton-on-Trent. So two wins now this season for Graham Bird. And manages to get his car going this time for the victory lap. So Heat 3 winner, number 50, Graham Bird.
as night time draws in, the cars are on the rolling lap for the grand final. And the green is given, so the grand final's away. And a blue top pack goes through, followed by the chasing reds. Andy Smith moving up through the Blues, gets a clout from 409, Rob Moore as one of the infield tyres goes rolling. Through comes 454, Phil Hay. Uh, but he's gone wide and the Red Top stream through on the inside. Through goes Andy Smith, followed by 409, 23. Four five four. Phil Haig pulls off. And across track looking for a lead car. 196. Steve Locke followed by 161. Mark Eaton. 391 Andy Smith is the first red top. In goes the bumper to the back of 161. And in the fence is 272 Andy Hodgson. And in there are wet as well as 37 Chris Dunkley. Steve Locke also collected. Rob Moore, Richard Ainsworth, and Ray Witts, followed by 250. And out come the yellow caution flags. The racing slowed. So it's Andy Hudson and Chris Dunkley stuck on the Armco. So the 272 car of Andy Hudson being pushed off in onto the infield. The 272 cars being towed off out of harm's way. So through come the lead cars, 196, Steve Locke, 464, Ian Sturt, 116, Kevin Clare, 18, Ian Jackson, 234, Gary Monks, 391, Andy Smith. Cars coming through in single file now, waiting for the green flag.
OK, we have the green and we're racing again. Through goes 196, 464. One one six Kevin Clare goes to the fence. Two three four Gary Monks chased by three nine one four oh nine. Through go the red top. So Andy Smith moving up. Richard Ainsworth moving up. One eight oh Ray Wicks comes through. Ray Wicks chasing after three five four Richard Ainsworth. And in goes the bumper. One nine six goes to the fence. 391's gone wide. 354, Richard Ainsworth up to second. 180, Ray Witts in third. 391, Andy Smith in fourth. And 391 passes 180, Ray Witts. So it's now 464, 354. 180 regains third place. 391 gets passed by 409 Rob Moore and Richard Ainsworth goes to the front passing 464 Ian Sturt uh, but through goes 180 Ray Witts to take the lead followed by 409 Rob Moore so 180 409 354 464 and 391 away in the lead now the flashing lights of 180 Ray Witts Chased by 409 Rob Moore. In third, 391 Andy Smith, followed by 464 number 7 Richard Ainsworth has pulled off. Nigel Parker moves in with a bumper and goes up to fourth place. Followed by 250 Keith Chambers, but in third, 391 Andy Smith chases after lead cars 180 Ray Witts and 409 Rob Moore in second so through the gloomy corner goes 180 Ray Witts Rob Moore chases in second <laughs> 180 Ray Witts down the back straight passes back marker 18 Ian Jackson comes through to the home straight Rob Moss still chasing in third 391 followed by number seven and then it's 250 so around come the flashing lights of 180 Ray Witt. comes up behind back markers and he's still being chased by 409 Rob Moore and Ray's past one back marker comes up behind 196 Steve Locke Steve Locke pulls out wide so through goes 180 and Rob Moore's coming in close held back momentarily by 196 but 180 in the lead followed by 409 and 391 Andy Smith's moving up so round comes 180 Ray Wicks in the lead followed by 409 and at the back Andy Smith's having some trouble, he's spun out so through to third, number seven in fourth now is 391 Andy Smith in chase by 116 Kevin Clare so Rob Moore in second, chases after 180 and 180 gets hit by 234 Gary Monks Gary Monks holds back momentarily, 4-9 Rob Moore but Moore gets safely through round again comes 180 Ray Witts down the home straight, 4-9 Rob Moore in second so 180 Ray Witts on his final lap down the back straight, passes back marker 4-64 Ian Sturt Starts down the home straight for the last time and takes the chequered flag. In second, 409. In third, number seven. And in fourth, 391. 250 comes through for fifth.
Out comes the red flag, bringing the race to an end. So 180 takes his first ever final win at Crewe. In fact, it's Ray's first ever final win on Shale. And Phil Haig, the first up to congratulate 180 Ray Witts, who takes the grand final here at Crewe. So the Grand National rolling lap gets underway with 180 Raywitz at the front with a one lap handicap. 196, 37, 18 go through for the yellows. So cars go round waiting for the green but they've, uh, they've got away so 180 Raywitz goes through chased by the yellows and at the back 49 Key Sherrick chases after the superstars Three or three, Jim Bamford chased by one one six. Three nine one now under pressure from number seven, Nigel Parker. Two fifty Keith Chambers chasing after four oh nine Rob Moore. Rob Moore passes Ian Jackson, comes up chasing after one nine six Steve Locke. Richard Ainsworth now moving up. One nine six Steve Locke under severe pressure from four oh nine Rob Moore. And in goes the bumper. Steve Lock goes wide, so through goes 409, Rob Moore followed by 250, Keith Chambers, 354, Richard Ainsworth also moving up. So down the back straight goes 409, chased by 250. Round comes 354, Richard Ainsworth gaining on 250, Keith Chambers. So the flashing lights of 354 Richard Ainsworth now on the bumper of 250 Keith Chambers. But in the lead is the 303 car of Jim Bamford, followed by 234 Gary Monks. And Monks receives the bumper from 409 Rob Moore. So now Rob Moore up to second, then 250 bounces over 234 Gary Monks. 
So 303 in the lead, followed by 409 Rob Moore. In third is 250 Keith Chambers, followed by 354 Richard Ainsworth. So 303 in the lead, holding off 409 Rob Moore. And in goes the bumper, the 303 car goes wide, through goes 409, followed by 250. 250 going to the inside line. And Rob Moore squeezes him out and holds it down the back straight. So 409, Rob Moore followed by 250 key chambers with 354, Richard Ainsworth gaining ground all the time. Down the home straight, 409, 250, 354. And in goes the 354 bumper, pushing 250 round. 250 holds on to second down the back straight. Again in goes 354. And 250 has gone wide this time, so 354 up to second. In third, 250. In fourth, 303, followed by number seven. Andy Smith hops over the curve. 180 Ray Wicks moving up from a lap down. Through comes lead car, 409 Rob Moore, passing back marker, 18 Ian Jackson. Rob Moore way down the back straight. Rob Moore goes through, followed by 354 Richard Angel, and 250 Keith Chambers has gone missing. Four oh nine down the home straight. Followed by three five four. Two fifty regains track, but he's a lap down. So Rob Moore's away, followed by three five four. One eight oh Ray Wicks moving up from a lap down. But through goes four oh nine Rob Moore, second three five four Richard Ainsworth. And looking back to third, it's the flashing lights coming through. Number seven Nigel Parker, chased over the line by three nine one Andy Smith, followed by one eight oh Ray Wicks. So out comes the red flag, bringing the Grand National to a close. The 409 mechanics quickly out on track. Complete with hats. Up goes the bonnet and on goes the water to cool the engine. Tom Penniston, Grand National winner, 409, Rob Moore.
Religion, justice, death